YouTube fam, how's it going? This is Tech with Your American Passion, giving you an update. Uh, let me show you what I have going on. Uh, the weather's been kind of crazy, so I'm going to show you that as well. But my main focus is to try to show you what I've been able to do while I had some help. So if you don't mind, stand by. All right, so here we go. I need to sand it down. It rained on me. So, and it's still raining. And I need to fill in some wells on this other side. So, but anyway, just giving you a heads up of what I've been doing. So, my next focus is to well the frame where the bend is when it comes down I'm going to weld that uh, I'm going to wait for it to stop raining because if you look it's been pretty nasty and it looks like it's trying to clear up but it's been doing that for the last three or four days it looks like it's going to clear up, but then it goes back. The Simpsons. But anyway, and I'm also having a issue. I think the glow plugs, well, not necessarily glow plugs, because it does it when it's running and it's hot too. I think that the injectors actually are getting oil on the tips. So I might rebuild the injectors. It's running pretty good right now, but sometimes it's, it's like that and sometimes it's not. I don't want to get into a point where I'm a good little ways from the house and she shuts off on me. So I'm going to do the injectors and then after I do the injectors, I'm going to, um, I'm going to do all of this first, you know, everybody. I'm going to do all of this first, put the skins on the sides. And once I get done with the bed, then I'm going to start working on the actual engine. Drivetrain is pretty much strong. Uh, just got to redo or find out why it just shuts off. Like right now, if it's running, sometimes it just shuts off. Um, and I, like I said, I'm thinking that the injectors are actually O-rings are leaking. Um, I thought it was the glow plugs or the glow plug relays. Those are fine, but I'm going to change those anyway just to be on, to be on the safe side. But um, once I get done with everything um, with the bed, I'm going to start working on that. And another thing I decided to do was I only have two welding the, to the bed, two braces welded to the, to the bed, excuse me, um, and bolted to the frame. But I'm also going to make an L bracket and I'm going to weld the L bracket here and I'm going to bolt it to the frame so I'm going to have to drill a hole. So, and once again, the only thing that's on here is just the ABS light. I don't know what's up with that. It's been running for about an hour and you can see where the temperature is. But, and I don't know if you can see the models. I showed it before, but I'm going to show it again. So, but that's where I'm working. At. That's where I'm sitting at right now. I want to go ahead and get this bed 90 to 95% done. I think that's a pretty decent lean to. Um, it's about 10 inches drop from here to here and then of course my ramps would go up just a little bit higher so when the car or truck gets on the ramp it pulls down and it makes it really level so my next focus is like I said to to weld these once I weld these I'm going to put a six by six straight across there 
and then I'm going to run me a two by two quarter inch steel from the back to come down, come across, tap into the existing uh, six by six that I'm gonna run here, and then I'm gonna be able to run my, my hitch there. And to give it a little bit more stability, I'm gonna run another two by two straight up in the back of the hitch to give it support. So that way I can actually tow a car. I have 19 and a half GVWR gross vehicle rate. So I'm pretty sure I can actually have a car up here because the rear end says it, it can handle 13.5. So, and that's a five, that's a F550 rear end. So that's that Dana S110 rear end, pretty stock. So once I get done with that, then I'm gonna start on doing the injectors. I'll do a video on that as well. Um, and I'm gonna go from there. But then when I get done with the injectors, you can actually kind of hear it. It acts like it wants to kind of shut down now. But after I get done with the injectors, I'm gonna get back on the body and then I'm gonna work on the interior. The last thing I'm gonna do is the stacks. Because right now it's running pretty good with the with the exhaust, but I'm gonna put the stacks on it and that way I'll be all right. So I'm going to ask a question. Do you prefer longer videos or do you prefer the shorter 10 minute videos? If you can leave it in the comment box, something of what you're thinking about, or even shoot me an actual email if you don't want to actually embarrass me in front of <laughs> in front of everyone else. But this is where I'm sitting at. And like I said, once I get through welding the frame, my next thing will be welding the actual frame of the chassis to the actual frame of the bed to minimize the flex in the back and then I'll be good to go because the way this bed is this bed is 18 feet long which is longer than the average car so really and truly with the wheel with the wheelbase it's going to be from here to about here now if there's an overhang then that's fine but all of this is the frame of the truck. This is only gonna be used to get it on there and the back for towing something. So I wanna be able to haul two cars at one time. So just giving you a heads up guys. That's where I'm sitting at. Please comment, share, subscribe, like, dislike, thumbs down, thumbs up, whatever you decide you want to do, give me something. Um, I'm still asking for it. I'm putting videos out. It might not be the content that you want, but um, if you want to see something else, let me know. If you want to see me get back on the F40, let me know. Um, once again, this is Ty. Asking you for your support as far as Send me, information, send me some information and let me know. But always remember, God bless you. Please be safe. Peace.